Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. I hope you're doing amazingly well today. And I appreciate you stopping by the channel. I hope you'll stick around. I hope you'll play and see what all different content I have. Um, I really try and give you guys an abundance of things to choose from. So hopefully that there will be something besides this one today um, that you love and that you come back to. Uh, take a moment if you would and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. Um, but let's get on with it, guys. So core strength, we're going to do some Pilates work today, mat Pilates, and we're going to incorporate some yoga stretching too. I love the mashup of the two of these together. Flexibility, strength, and um, just an overall well-being. All right, so let's get her done. So sitting in a comfortable seated position for you, sitting up nice and tall, inhale, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, pull those elbows down, spread your fingers wide, open that chest, oh, and squeeze. Inhale, reach, and exhale, pull. One more time, inhale, reach, and exhale, pull. Let's extend those arms out to a T. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to rotate, pulling that right elbow back three times. Coming back to center. And we twist, taking that le left elbow back three times. And back to center. And again, right elbow, three twists, each one a little bit bigger. And back to center. Left elbow, three twists. And back to center. Let's do that one more time each side. Right elbow. And back to center. Spinal flexibility. Work in the obliques. Uh, getting a little bit of work for that upper and middle back. Shoulders. Release your arms down by your sides. Take a big breath in. Lengthen through the crown of the head. And exhale. Bring the chin down towards the chest. So we're going to incorporate core work with some stretching. Uh, and just really find this beautiful space of health and well-being being present being mindful of our movements rolling that head to the right right ear over the right shoulder and then just gently press that left palm down mm, feel that good stretch all through that left side through the neck rolling the head back through center and then over to the left, left ear over the left shoulder. Mm, and a little press of that right palm down towards the earth. And exhale, chin down towards the chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall, reach to the sky. Exhale, release that right hand down, left arm up and over, and we're going to sway side to side, gluing those sit bones to the earth. Inhale, reach, and exhale, other side. So just move in with your breath, but gluing those sit bones down, getting that long lateral stretch all through the side body, and just timing it with your breath. So as you inhale, you reach, and as you exhale, you release. Last one. And inhale, reach to the sky, both arms come up. And exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Let's turn the length of our mat and bring those feet out and away from us just a bit. Knees remain bent. We're gonna bring the hands behind the thighs and just slowly start to lower back. So you'll feel this natural curvature of your spine, this hollowness of your tummy and chest as you come down. Stop before you feel those feet lift and then slowly come back up. Now, maybe you don't need the support with those legs. You can have the arms extended out in front of you, but glue those feet to the earth. Feel that natural curvature of the belly, and then we rise. If you want to add a little bit of weight, cross those arms. So there's different positioning that you can add to add intensity when you're ready. You can change it up. You can do a few holding on. You can do a few with those arms crossed. Just whatever feels good to you. We've got one more of these. And then we're going to add a little different dimension. So as we come back up, this time extend those arms out. And as you exhale, pull that right elbow back. A little tap to the mat. And bring it back to center. A rotation. A little tap of that left elbow and bring it back. So maybe we don't touch all the way. It's okay. You go back as far as you can, maintaining your form, keeping that belly button drawn in. And what do you feel? 
It's pretty amazing the intensity that we can feel. That beautiful body of yours working so hard to be even more well, stronger. Breathe one more time each side. And then we're going to add another dimension. You're like, seriously? Yep, seriously. So we reach it out. This time as we come back, we lower that right elbow and we extend that left leg. Flex your foot. Coming back to center. Right leg long, left elbow back. Flex your foot and bring it back to center. So there's this counterweight as you extend. Breathe. We're firing up all through those obliques. Yes, indeed. One more time. Do we have another dimension? Of course we do. Breathe. This time, if you like, pull it back, lift your leg and point. So now you're lining your legs up kind of thigh to thigh. So it's a little higher lift, little more intense. Breathe, little tap of that elbow, little point of the toe. Oh, firing up those legs one more time each side. Firing up that core. Last one. And go ahead and open up those legs. This is going to feel good. Stretch it forward. Stretch out that back. Breathe. So our next one's going to be fun. A little smile on your face. It's going to feel super good. Roll it up one vertebra at a time. And we're going to bring those legs together. And we're going to come back to boat pose. From our boat pose, hands are going to be behind those thighs. We're going to rock back, rolling like a ball. And we're going to roll like a ball eight times so we get this little massage for our back. As you roll like a ball, I want you to do your best to stop before the back of your head touches the mat and stop before those toes come back down. So we always come back to our boat pose. Nice natural curvature of the spine as we roll it back and roll it up. Roll it back and roll it up. Breathe. Little massage. Little bit of play. We've got three more. And last two. One more time. Meeting back in boat. We reach down, taking hold at the ankles and extend right leg. If you like, take a hold of that outside edge of your foot and flex your foot. Breathe. Lifting through the chest, lengthening through the crown of the head. So this beautiful stretch down the back of that right leg. Can you feel it? Heck yeah. Can you feel that length, the working in that bicep, using the strength of that arm to hold that leg up? And release. Left side. Hand wherever along the leg you like. You can take a hold of that outside edge of your foot if you like. Lifting the chest strong through that core. Breathe. Release that left foot. Hold on wherever you are. Take the place, the same place on that right side. And let's extend the legs. Breathe. Getting that lift through the crown of the head, that link through the legs. Add a flex of your feet if you want a little more intensity. You can keep those feet pointed if it's too much. Closing those legs, making yourself just as small as you can. Using the strength of the arms to pull the upper body towards the legs and the legs towards the upper body. Make yourself just as little as you can. Feeling that great stretch through the backs of the legs, firing up the core muscles. That's what's helping keep us balanced and steady. Slowly releasing those arms, lifting through the chest. Breathe. Let's slowly open those legs out nice and wide. Uh, as they open, notice how that body weight shifts. If you lift your chest, you start to roll forward a little bit. It's your core that's managing that you don't fall forward. Breathe. Slowly closing those legs. Bending the knees, releasing the hands. We place those feet back to the mat, extending the arms out. And let's slowly roll it back. 
Extending the arms overhead. Extending one leg out and then the other. Oh, pencil stretch, point your toes, reach through those fingertips. And let's pull that right knee in. Right hand comes down towards your foot, left hand to the top of the knee. And we're gonna lift the upper body. So this left leg can stay long, or you can bend your knee. Or if you wanna intensify things, extend that leg, lift it. Draw your knee in twice, and then switch two tugs and switch. So that outside hand is just reaching down towards the ankle or towards your heel. And we're just alternating two tugs and two tugs. Keeping that belly button drawn in and down. Finding that breath. Breathe. Toes are pointed. Feet are active. Legs are long. Feeling strong and healthy, I hope. One more time each side. Drawing the knees in, release the upper body down. Just give yourself just a little second. Interlace those fingers uh, so we can just relax the hands against the shins. And we're gonna turn and take our gaze out over that right shoulder, letting go of that tension in the neck, allowing the shoulders to be heavy. We lift our gaze towards the sky and then turning and taking our gaze to the left, relaxing the weight of the head. And bringing it back to center. We pull those hands right by the ears. Now we can keep that upper body down or if you like, lift it. Core is strong and as you exhale, extend the legs and extend those arms. You can extend the legs high or out long, circling the arms around down by your feet and then pulling those hands right back by your face. Extend it out, reach, circle it around, pull the knees in, reach your hands down towards your feet. Once again, hands come up by your ears, extend it out, reach, hollow, Pull it in two more times, hands by your ears, extend it out and circle it around. One more time, hands by the ears, extend it out, reach, circle it around and pull it back in and release that upper body back down. Relax the shoulders, let that tension go in the neck. Find your breath, placing one foot to the mat and then the other. Extending those arms out, bringing your palms to the mat, spread your fingers wide. Breathe. So we're going to do the Pilates 100. Starting here with those knees bent, we lift the upper body and lengthen through those fingertips. Spread those fingers and we're going to pump those arms. Breathe. If you like, you can lift your feet. We can have those knees right up over those hips. You can extend your legs. You can lower those legs. So there's lots of variations of our Pilates 100. I want you to really feel that scooping out of the tummy and chest. I want you to feel that length through the fingertips and that pumping of the arms. Breathe. You can always change up where the legs are if you decide you need a little break. And then you can intensify it back up as you're ready. Find your breath. Almost there. Again, switch it up if you need to. Whatever you need. Down. Just really feel that scoop. 10. 5. And pull it in. Nicely done. You feel that little fire in your belly? Heck yeah. Breathe. Let's release those feet and we're going to roll to one side, extending arm out nice and long, bringing those feet slightly forward into a pike position. Top arm is going to extend up overhead and as you pull in, knee bends, elbow comes in and extend it out. 
pull it in. So really squeezing those obliques and reach it long. Pull it in, reach it long. If you like, add both legs and make it long, both and long. So you decide, you can come up onto that hand. You can remain down, drawing the elbow towards the knee, working with one leg or two. Breathe, firing up that oblique on that top side. Two more. And last one. And release. Oh, let's make ourselves long. So again, slightly piked. Bring your palms to touch. You can interlace your fingers if you like. This is kind of a fun one. I always call it a fish out of water. You'll know why in just a second. So we're right up on that hip bone. Rather than leaning back kind of onto your bum, this is very challenging. You want those feet forward just slightly, arms forward just slightly, arms on either side of your head. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, lift just your feet. Squeeze those inner thighs. And release. As you exhale, lift just your upper body. And release. Again, lower body. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Point those toes. Do you feel that kind of little wiggly squirm? Yeah, it's only going to get worse. And release. Take a big breath in. And exhale, lift upper body. And release. Okay, so you know what's coming? Both. Core is strong. Draw that belly button in and up. And you're going to feel a little bit of fish out of water at first. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, lift upper and lower body. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So if you got that wiggly, it's okay. And release. We're going to do that one more time. Take a big breath in. Smile on your face. And exhale, lift. Breathe. And release. Go ahead and release the hands. And we're going to switch sides. How'd that feel? Challenging? Fun? Silly? It's all good. It's, we want to have fun, right? We never want to be bored. Arms overhead, feet are slightly forward. So again, we're firing up that top oblique. As you exhale, lift, and you can do single leg and arm, or you can do both right away. So squeeze and reach, squeeze. So if you want to add in both, yep, knees and reach, knees and reach. Pull it in. So really firing up. Do you feel that? That top oblique and reach. Squeeze. You can come up onto your elbow. You can come all the way up onto the hand. You can stay low. So you decide what's right for you. And again, you can always change it up. You don't have to do all the same. You can do some up onto the hand. You can do some just where you bend the elbow. Two more. You do you. The best you can and release all right so those arms come overhead interlace those fingers slight pike position take a big breath in and as you exhale lift just the lower body so this side is gonna feel entirely different than the other side and release take a big breath in and exhale lift just the upper body and release one more time isolated Lift, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So we're on that hip bone rather than rolling back onto that meaty part of your bum. And release, take a big breath in. And exhale, lift. And release, okay, so we've got two where we're gonna tie it together. That fish out of water, draw that belly button in and up. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, lift, squeeze. So you feel that squirmy? Oh my gosh, yes. And release this side's a little more challenging for me. Take a big breath in and exhale, lift, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release. Go ahead and roll over onto your back. Ah, pulling right knee in. Mm, just breathe. Let's bend that left knee, sole of the foot to the earth, extending that right leg. Point and flex your foot. Getting that nice stretch on the back of the leg. Mm, that feels good. 
Now we're going to flex the foot mm, and feel that deeper stretch. Now if you like, you can extend that left leg back out. Use the strength of the arms to pull that right leg in. So we're going to activate those core muscles again. Draw that belly button in and up. We lift the upper body. If you like, lifting that left leg. Two tugs. And let's switch. Two tugs. And let's switch. Two tugs. And switch. So just our scissor kick. That upper body lifted. Making sure that we're taking care of the neck. Finding that breath. One more each side. And we're gonna hold that left leg in, bending that right knee, releasing the upper body down. And just pull. Pull in that left leg in, feeling that long stretch down the back of that left leg through the hamstring and the calf. You can add a flex of your foot if you like. That's that deeper stretch. You can extend that right leg if you like. So we're gonna do one more set of those scissor kicks. And this time we're going to do it with those feet flexed. So keeping that left foot flexed, lift that upper body. If you like, lift that right leg and flex your foot. And we do two tugs and switch. Two tugs and switch. Upper body up just as high as feels good to you. And again, those feet are flexed so it's a little different sensation. A little deeper stretch down the backs of the legs might be a little more challenging. Maybe they're not quite as big as scissors. That's okay. Last one. And pull those knees in, release the weight of the upper body down. Extend those arms out to a T. Pull those knees out and away from you just a little bit. Making a 90 degree bend with those legs like you're sitting in a high back chair and let's slowly lower both knees to the left. Keeping the knees in line with those hips. And then roll it back to center and we take it to the right as low as you can without releasing all the way down and back through to center and take it to the left. Now we can keep those knees bent or you can begin to extend those legs. But one thing your body is really sneaky about is it's going to try and make those feet pull out and away. We want to keep the knees or the feet right in line with those hips. So if you are going to extend those legs, just make sure that you don't all of a sudden have those legs come really far down. We want to keep them right in line with those hips, taking it up and over. Let's do one more each side. So work in flexibility in the spine, strengthen those obliques, work in the inner and outer thighs, those abductors and adductors coming back to center gently touching those toes right leg extends out flex your foot lift it high bend the knee point the toe so the toes are just gently touching left leg extends long flex your foot lift it high bend the knee point those toes big toe just touching right foot sweeps out flex your foot and lift it high Bend the knee, big toes touch. One more time, just the left. Flex your foot, lift, bring it back. Now you can keep both legs going together or independent. You decide, slide it out, flex your feet, lift it high, bend the knees. Little touch of the toes, slide it out. So alternating legs or working with both legs. Point those toes. So we're not releasing the feet all the way down at any point so those big toes are just touching the mat one more time independent or together flex and bring the hands take a hold behind those legs keep those feet flexed oh and just pull those legs in if you like line your forearms up with your calves fingertips pointing towards the or, or towards your heels use the strength of those arms to pull that upper body in mm, like a seated forward fold only we're on our backs and we get this amazing little self massage in that middle back gently releasing the intensity 
uh, pulling those knees in towards the chest keeping that right knee tucked in extend your left leg out and down right arm extends out to a T left hand to the outside of the right knee and gently pull your leg across your body return and take our gaze out over that right arm close your eyes We roll it back to center, extending those legs out long. Bring your hands overhead before we move on to the other side, stacking that left hand on top of the right, palms facing the sky, point your toes, press the small of the back towards the mat, and we're going to lift upper and lower body, hollowing out, lengthening through the fingertips, through the toes. Shaky is good, guys. This is meant to be intense. And gently release it down. We're going to do that one more time. This time, placing the left hand on top of the right. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, hollow. Scoop it out. Lengthen and reach from fingertips to toes and release extend those arms out to a t pull that left knee in right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently pull your leg across turning and taking your gaze out over that left arm so i hope this has been fun i hope it's been challenging i hope you've enjoyed every second mm, i always enjoy my time with you thank you for choosing to spend some time with me And gently releasing, drawing that left knee in and then the right, hands behind your thighs, rock yourself up and let's turn. And we're just going to take a moment, coming to easy pose. If you prefer, you can stay on your back absolutely, just find a comfortable place. Resting your hands, sitting up nice and tall, closing your eyes, breathe. A wonderful gift this ability to move to breathe to make ourselves stronger to influence our health in a positive way managing our health and well-being don't take it lightly it's a gift but it's also a job but an amazing job. As we quiet the mind and we focus on our breath, we assimilate all of the hard work we have just accomplished for our well-being, to grow stronger, to stand taller, to sleep better, to be the best versions of ourselves that can exist. Here we let that breath just flow along with that positive energy we've created within us and around us. You are worth the time. You are worth the energy. I appreciate you more than you could ever know. Let's gently pull the hands to heart center and a little tuck of your chin down towards your chest, just a little one. And just take a moment to say a quiet or a silent thank you to your mind and your body for taking you on this journey today. I say a heartfelt thank you for joining me on this journey today. Let's gently open those eyes. I hope you find a smile on your face. I hope it stays with you all day long. Take care of yourselves. Light and love each and every day. Until the next time, my friend. Namaste.